Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July love and money reading. So let's get into the relationship dynamics for you Aquarius. So the relationship dynamics for you for this month begins with a union. It seems like you and your partner are on the same vibration of frequency this month of union. You both want to um, connect with each other in an emotional way. In a way that has to do with your emotions and also your physical bodies. The reason why I say this is because this card also has to do with coming together and um, being one with water. So a lot of uh, maybe emotional connection this month is the goal for you and your partner. Um, your view on the relationship this month, Aquarius, is being very focused. Uh, right now you feel this month is going to give opportunities for you that were not there before where you can go right, uh, where you can find direction, where things are a little bit more focused um, in your world. You, you, your headspace is a lot better. Uh, you may be thinking very clearly, executing plans, getting things done, and it may all have to do with uh, the connection that, that starts off with the dynamics between you and your partner this month. Now, your partner's point of view in the relationship is the tower. Somebody um, uh, told me some one day that you know you have to go through hard times in relationships um, to understand the strength of the two people. So your your partner at this point um, has definitely been going through an ego trip. There's something definitely happening to your partner where there could have been a lot of changes in the relationship where um, they need you. Sh they, he, she, it, whatever. They needed to change the way that they were viewing the world, the way that they were viewing the relationship, and the way that you two were dealing with each other in relationships. That tower that maybe you guys uh, were sitting in uh, needed to be crushed down um, in order for you guys to be a little bit more grounded in giving and receiving love from each other. Um, it just seems to me like there, there's been... Maybe it was too high up. Maybe the, the the expectations in the relationship for your partner was so high that they, their ego, maybe there needed to be something to happen to allow um, a real revelation to come in order for a new ground for you and your partner to kind of grow on. For those of you that are, are in relationships, this is very big. And for those of you that are dealing with someone in a partnership, any type, uh, maybe they're going through a revelation, a revelation of themselves in a relation in this relationship also. Um, but again, uh, your partner does or want to be with you. It is. It, it's just more like they're going through a catastrophic change of who they are, who you are, what happened, what, what are we doing, and how do we now um, re rebuild? But from from the real ground, from from the from 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 something tangible, from something practical, something that we both want, you know, and it's it seems like emotional connection is going to be very big, emotions and logic, using those things in a very, um, using those energies in a very beneficial way this, this month will help you guys. Now, the truth that I got for the relationship dynamic is the Ace of Swords, so you and your partner will rebuilding, we will be rebuilding uh, a new way of dealing with each other this month. Um... And you're an air sign. This is going to be a very important thing for you because you're already the queen of swords, eight of swords. You may be starting something new with your partner, new endeavors with your partners. You may be starting business with your partner. Uh, you may, as the queen of sword with the ace of sword, want to start something like a family. If you have a family already with your partner, uh, it may be a business or you may have new ways of um, talking with each other or communicating with each other that is more positive, you know. Um, your words, you know, ace of swords, ace of words. Maybe it's the words also that you guys use with each other in your relationships may change. You know, the communication is really big. Um, people don't think about what, how words are powerful and how words can change everything in a relationship. So maybe you may need to communicate with your partner in a more emotional way. And I know that this is going to be something that is not hard for an Aquarius once they love you. 
uh, if you're the partner watching. And if you're an Aquarius and you're in love with someone, um, you know, communicate with them. To allow them to understand your, your emotions. You know, yes, you're going to be focused this month, but you're focused more because you have, you know, you have someone uh, that is with you. You know, and if your partner is going through this change that they're going through, don't be judgmental. Don't be, you know, the I told you so or I'm always right person, you know. Um, understand the shift that they're going through as well. Um, and maybe there just needs to be different ways of communicating with each other. That might be the reason why um, the ego trips are going on right now too. But there is love between the two of you. Or there's some type of connection there, you know. Oh, okay. If you want to book a reading with me uh, to find out what's going on with you and your partner, you can always email me at akilastrology at gmail.com or you can check out my website at akilastrology.com where we can do a love reading for you and your partner to see how we can get more personal with this information. All right, guys, thank you so much and enjoy this month. All right, bye.